Welcome back to On the Scene, everybody. I'm John Bathke. We are coming to you from the Union County Performing Arts Center in Rawway. You know, whether it is on stage or on a canvas, an artist will find a way to express emotions that they maybe can't express any other way. That's certainly true for the artist we are about to meet in the art of possibility. Do you see something on here you would like to do today? We have mm -hmm. shapes, mm -hmm. point system, laser point, the splatter. It begins with choices and a canvas, like it does for every painter. Point and string. You like to use the point and string system? Okay, so we got your ruler. But what Ellen Kane and Scott Beale are doing is anything but ordinary. Let's find out what else we need. Ellen cannot speak, but sure she has a voice and a vision, even if her hands cannot hold a brush. So it's up to Just Scott to give thing. shape to Ellen's ideas. Is that still the angle you want? Okay. I'll never forgive myself if I mess up an EK painting. Scott is a professional artist, but here at Matheny Medical and Educational Center, he puts aside his own artistic ideas to put Ellen's on canvas. The participants are the ones in complete control, so we just become uh, basically another tool for them. From here to here. This is a human being that is going to trust you with a very, very intimate area of their lives, which is creating art. I mean, art is a very intimate thing. Matheny provides care for people with cerebral palsy and other developmental disabilities. Its arts program pairs the disabled with artists who become their facilitators. Is this looking the way you want? That wide, and then we'll smooth it out? While Ellen can't control her body, she can control her art. If I want to make a straight line, but my body is not allowing me to make a straight line, then no matter what I do to try to make that, it's not going to happen the way that I see it up here. So f for them, it's giving them an opportunity to just let these visions come out onto the canvas. That's the size of the curve you want. But getting there is not easy. Decisions normally made in the blink of an eye take patience. Is that a good size scoop? Now watch Ellen's right hand as Scott asks yes and no questions. Stop. No. Okay. An open hand is for no, closed for yes. They have worked together like this for seven years. How important is the long-term relationship with the artist? I mean, I come in, I meet Ellen uh, for a short time, but it's hard for she and I to communicate because I don't know her language in a, in a sense. I want us to be able to talk. That's a yes? Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's yes? yes? Okay, got it. All right, it takes me a while. I don't learn fast. <laughs> if you spend the time to get to know them and get to know their system of communication, while it's different than ours, they have a lot to say. And here is what they have to say. These are pieces done by participants at Matheny. It's not trained art, but pure expression. Shapes, textures, and colors. I, I like that approach and that just that joy of art instead of just thinking so much all the time. Sometimes I need to just like I take a lesson from some of the artists here and just have a little more, you know, a little more fun with it. Are you a good artist? You're saying no? You don't think no? you're good? No. I think you're a good artist. A little humor and a lot of imagination. It's what it takes to believe in the art of possibility. 